And can you walk me through the 77-yard catch and run you had there in the third quarter that was the thing that turned in the tide? How did that play unfold in your mind? Yes, yeah, sir. So um, when we came out, we did tri we went trips left and motion, not motion, put me out wide uh, in the slot. And then I pretty much had an option route on the dude on top of me. I saw that they were in man, cut across his face, caught the ball split between the uh, Mike linebacker and him. And it was me and the safety when made a play and then, of course, it got up about to the five-yard line and felt somebody on my legs, and I was like, get the ball in the end zone. Of course, I'm only 5'6", five, 5'5", five, five, so it's kind of hard. Go ahead, John Kurtz. Yeah, Deuce, being from Texas, and I know your dad spent some time coaching at Texas, does this have some extra meaning to you to, to beat Oklahoma and play Oklahoma? I mean, really, we had all types of fuel coming into this game, uh, coming off of the loss two weeks ago, just – knowing that we were a better team than we showed uh, against Arkansas State. And then just for those two weeks, we prepared, 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 and just went, wanted to show the nation that last year wasn't a fluke whenever those guys played. And even with the new guys uh, this year, that it wasn't a fluke. And we were a really, really good football team. It felt like in the second half, you really had their defense on their heels. Did you guys get the sense that you kind of had them rattled a bit? Yes, sir. So we started, keep, started going a little bit faster, uh, started – Rep, repping plays, repping plays, and just stuff like that. And just, I mean, once we got the momentum, I feel like we never gave it back and we just kept rolling. Appreciate it, Deuce. Scott Fritchin. Yeah, hey, Deuce. Um, this is your first big game. Skyler Thompson's been in some big games in his career. What did you, did you notice most about Skyler in the heat of the moment during this game and just his ability to will you guys to win? He's an absolute leader. Uh, just – for both sides of the ball, whether we're on the sideline or on the field. He's an absolute leader. You saw he took some big shots today uh, in the past game, got right back up and said, okay, let's go, next play, next play. And that's what we tried to do as a team, and he really led us with that. It was saying play by play, possession by possession, don't get too high, don't get too low, depending on what's going on in the game. And that's exactly what we did, and 100%, he's a leader. You, I must say that's probably the, the best performance by a true freshman in K-State history that you – did today. Um, I'm just curious, at what point does this reality just kind of check in and, and you say, wow, I really did this and describe that stage. It seems like the stage is not too big for you. Um, I mean, just when the stage isn't too big, I mean, I just feel like my preparation throughout the week, whether uh, uh, it's BA, Coach Common, Coach Messingham, everything they do for us, whether it's making cut-ups for us to watch on OU or going through uh, these intense practices so that the games are easy. I mean, all of that from preparation, like my dad always tells me, it's always about what you put in the ATM through Monday uh, through Friday. And then on Saturday, you cash everything out. And I feel like this week as a team, I feel like we did a lot of stuff, put a lot of things in the ATM. And then today, whenever it was time, we cashed it all out and we did everything we had to do to get the win. Okay, we got three hands left raised. We'll do those three, starting with Derek Young. Hey, Deuce. Uh, you weren't the only true freshman back that had a big game today. Keon Mosey did as well. What's the competition or friendship like between you two? And did you guys expect you both to have a great impact on today's game? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily expected, but we were always ready when the time was called, whatever uh, that may be. And I mean, I'm, Mosey is one of my best friends. Uh, just ever since we got here, we gelled, and whether that is us watching film together or whenever you have a run, he's like, hey, like, what'd you see on that one? Hey, I saw blah, 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 I saw this, I saw that. That's just in practice and just helping each other improve every single day because, I mean, if we get a stable of running backs, I feel like we'd be unstoppable. And just how relieving or maybe satisfying is this victory after, you know, the adversity that you guys suffered in week one? Oh, it's so satisfying. Uh, just getting this win and getting the confidence to go and get ready for next week. Because, of course, we get today, a little bit of Sunday, but then Monday it's time to go re get ready for, I believe, Texas Tech. So a uh, quick turnaround and got to go play some football again on Monday. Thanks, dude. Absolutely. Thanks, Olson. Hey, dude, just curious, how, how did this team respond just over the last two weeks? What did you see that, that kind of – maybe indicated that these guys were keeping their heads right and that you could go out and play a game like this? We changed our mindset. Uh, we got back on Monday after the loss, and pretty much we had a team meeting. We said, all right, we got we to change some things as a team if we're going to go out and be successful. 
these next two weeks getting ready for OU and uh, the season beyond. This is exactly what we did. Started holding each other accountable in every single aspect of the game, off the field, on the field, everything. And I feel like we just came together as a team to uh, be able to come and be successful today. Last one here, Mitchell. Hey, Deuce, you know, we're not allowed to be in the locker room, but I imagine the scene was pretty wild. Could you explain to us, uh, paint a picture what it was like in the locker room after a big uh, upset win y'all had? It's one word, emotion. Just so many emotions going through. I mean, we were jumping around. We were giving out the uh, player of the game, uh, pound the stone, uh, hammers and everything. I mean, just without a doubt, just after a big time win and going into the locker room, just being with your brothers, just jumping around, having fun, I mean, that – just so satisfying. Now, how do you guys build upon this to where you keep having moments like these? Uh, we take what we had, uh, what we did well, and we improve on those things. And then we go back uh, Monday and we look at the things that we did uh, not not too great and just try to improve those things as we're going to Texas Tech because every single week is when you're playing a Big 12 team and just like we upset at uh, OU today, Texas Tech could come out and play a fantastic game, so we have to get ready for them.